saw my sister, she came out and she was uh, visibly upset. Uh, Your Honor, in regard, in regard to, to uh, the instruction that you would request about this, maybe. All right, thank you. So, jurors, you're about to hear. You may not take the defendant's prior acts as a substitute for proof that the defendant committed the crimes charged here, but you may consider the act solely on the limited issue of the state of mind uh, of the defendant and the nature of her relationship with John O'Keefe as it might go to motive or intent. Um, how would you describe her demeanor when she comes up? No, I'll allow that. She was frustrated. And at some point did you have a conversation without regard to the At some point did you have a conversation with her uh, about something that had just happened? Yes. Now, following that conversation with your sister, um, at some point, subsequent to that, uh, <coughs> Mr. O'Keefe uh, come back out to the pool area. After I spoke with her, yes, he came out to the pool area. And you know about how long a period of time it was between the time that your sister came out to the pool area and Mr. O'Keefe came out to the pool area. I mean, I would say approximately 20 minutes, but I don't, I don't really know exact timing. The defendant committed these acts that she must also have committed the offenses with which she's been charged. You can only use the evidence for the limited purpose of... Uh, he was coming from the outside doors into the lobby. Is that where the pool bar is located? Opposite side. Opposite. Yes. And when you see him come in, who, if anyone, did you see with him initially? Nobody with him. And was, whoa, you okay? I actually said, whoa, Godfather, are you okay? Um, but yeah, he uh, was stumbling into the, the lobby. And did you go over to him at that point? I did. I went up to him and I gave him a hug. And um, what happened then? Uh, I pulled back. Uh, he was glassy-eyed, looking above me. Um, I, we never made eye contact. He was looking above me. It looked like he was looking for someone. Um, I asked him, where are you going? Assuming that he would be coming to the pool bar to meet us. Uh, he kept looking around and he indicated that he was going that way. Um, as I'm going back in, I hear um, someone yell, who the f And as I come around the corner, I see uh, Mr. O'Keefe walking toward a woman. Um, and they were, and he said, um, excuse me. <clears throat> he said, um, calm down, that's, that's Laura's little sister. I said, hi, nice to meet you. Um, that's when uh, Miss Reed's head snapped up um, and she very loudly told me to go. And just uh, to be clear, when you say Miss Reed, uh, this is someone that you became familiar with as a trip went along. Uh, this was my first interaction with her. You were not present at the Waterfall Bar and Grill on January 28th of 2022 in Canada? I was not. You were not present at 34 Fairview Road in Pembroke, Massachusetts on February 8th of 2022 yes. to interview you? Yes. Nothing further.